Well, hurricane season is in full swing, and being prepared isn't just about your family. It also means packing your pet's essentials as well. And Mark Chambour from K9 Corral is here with tips on how to get your pet ready. Now, Mark, before we get into it, you guys also have a little doggy daycare, so I want to take a look at some of the cute little cuddly puppies that you guys have. So let's look at them. Tell me who these people are. Look at this one. Oh, that's, oh my gosh. That's, that's so Nina. Cute. She looks like she has a lampshade on her head, but it's yeah. really. <laughs> It's really a lamp behind her. Nina's so cute. That's Zeus. He's that's hey, his first Zeus. time. Oh, he looks happy. He had happy. a great time. That is oh, that's Chubbo and <laughs> Nikki, and they're like, hey, that's the kitchen in there. They're looking for the food. Oh, <laughs> into the kitchen. Yes, and that's Heidi. That was her first time here. How also. cute! And it was daycare and boarding. Some of them were daycare. Some of them were boarding. It's great for the socialization. So though. I love to. That look at is pets. Clementine oh, with one of our employees, oh. Brad. Who uh, looks just adorable, both Aww. of them. <laughs> so, so cute. they look so cute. That's why it's so important that we take care of them in case of an emergency. Definitely. So you brought some tips for us of what we need to make sure we do and what we need to have prepared. So let's start off with the end of this, uh, uh, or actually start off here. Well, you know, it? I was watching. Um, I watched the Weather Channel. And I'm really boring, but <laughs> I was watching uh, Superstorm uh, Sandy coverage, and there were dogs and there were people floating in the water. And you Aww. know, I thought, you know. A life jacket would be great to have in your kit, and I never really thought about it until that time. So this is a life jacket. This is Pasquale. Pasquale's an old man. He's 12. He's, uh -oh. I got him at 10. I always have a senior dog. Uh, but so, so you know what? Sleepy. He doesn't want to swim if he would be in a flood situation. He'll he get wouldn't. tired. And mm -hmm. you know, then you don't know what's going to happen to him, just like right. Hurricane Katrina. Mm -hmm. yeah. Last year, I highlighted the crate, which is down there on the floor. On the front. And you know, if you go to a pet friendly shelter, you have to have a crate, and people mm. don't think about that. Yeah, they right. will not let you in without him, and you're this close to the next person with their exactly. dog. Exactly. So well, you've got to crate them. So yeah. crate, life jacket. And what's next? Well, then, of course, you want to get your, your food prepared because that's going to be the first thing you need. I would get a food-grade bucket that actually seals tight. Mm -hmm. And it is food-grade. It's not something you mix cement in. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, get some food. Uh, have I would suggest, I have a whole store of food, but mm -hmm. I would recommend getting an extra bag of dry dog food and just keeping it with your kit so you're not trying to get it if there is a storm. Okay. Canned foods, uh, those have the pop-ups, but even with the pop-ups, sometimes they break, so a yes. can opener is very important to have, and just for a people kit, too. And how, yeah, much food, how much food do you store for your dog? In it terms depends of upon the size. This, this bag right here would be great for Pasquale for almost a month. Okay. But I would have two of them. I would get an extra one. Just okay. So, so you want to be prepared for at least a week or we? well, like the store seven to ten close. days. Seven yeah. To 10 days. And the thing is, is people are buying the crates, they're buying the food, they're doing all that within that three-day period. Uh -huh. So you want to plan ahead and have it mm -hmm. all ready to rock and roll. All right. Next, next to the food, what is Why that? Don't put it well, in? you have to have a bowl and um, a food dish. So this is a combo. That's actually. Uh, the the food bowl you is down below. That's that's oh. the food. This is the water here. And then you okay. unzip them and you put. Yeah, them in. and you can use it dually. You could take it to the beach if you just. And I like it. how it just compacts, so <laughs> yeah. you don't have to have an actual bowl, so you can always stuff it in. And this something. one here, which oh, that's collapsible, food. and that matches Linda's blouse very yes, nicely. Yes, it does. You have to be careful about that. Coordination <laughs> is Well, that's key. great for storage because obviously well, you start to run out of space here. Yeah, yeah. and you yeah. forget about certain things. These can all get put in a kit. They can get. Put in the bucket and just mm -hmm. keep them sealed mm -hmm. until we get You're the ready. call. Yeah. All right. So when you talk about the food and all that stuff, but you also have to have certain things about the dog and your pet. You know, Definitely. What about well, first of all, microchip your your pet and record the microchip with the company so you they know that it's your dog. This Corolla, she's so wonderful. She works for me. She built this <laughs> for her own dogs. And you want to have a vaccination record. You want to have any kind of mm -hmm. documentation, medications for the pets. You want to make sure that if something happens, you have proof that it's your pet, and this is what the pet needs, and this is what the pet looks so like. You, and you mentioned a picture of you and the pet, so you not and just the a pet. picture oh, of the good. pet. Oh, that's good. Definitely. Yeah, definitely you and the pet, because certain pets, uh, certain breeds look the same, and if there's a purebred and a very expensive dog, you know, you want to know that you're getting your pet back mm. and not somebody else. Very important. All right, saline, saline solution, something I use, but I didn't expect it for dogs. Well, you know, with the wind and the rain and dust and all that kind of stuff blowing around, for people or for pets, I would have saline solution to really? rinse the eyes out. Oh. Definitely. Rescue remedy for when your dog is a little nervous. Mm -hmm. uh, also Benadryl, uh, at one, pound, one milligram per one pound is what they recommend. So on a 25 milligram 
pill that would be good for one dog to kind of take the edge off. Okay. First aid kit, very important also. Uh, you can put your medications in there if you need to, and everybody should have one. All right, and then next we have right here on the floor, the sweater vest. That's a thunder vest. What I would do, you can use that also for like the upcoming 4th of July holiday. Mm -hmm. A thunder vest will help uh, keep the dog calm. And that, Aww. just like with the fireworks, running around, doing all kinds of stuff, the dog is like stressed. That dog is so well behaved. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a canine good citizen, it sure is. You're right. Um, but definitely, I would get a thunder vest and try it on your dog ahead of time. All right, Mark, we only got 30 seconds, so we're gonna wrap up the next one. You have a collar, toys, and waist basket. Yes, we have lighted. Colors. Yeah, the color oh, and the leash. I think that's that, great. Which is Our important is if great. it gets dark, you can find them. Definitely. Yeah. You just push the button. It does all kinds of things. It's, it's not going to have any power, so you want your dog seen if a car's out there. Right. Busy buddies. Keep them busy. Poop bags. Pick up after your oh, pet. Oh, that's so, so important. Yeah. All those things that need to be done. And put those all in the bucket and set Dada. them aside for yeah. the... Right. Well, definitely a lot of good things. So we have to remember, not just us have to be safe, the pets too, and think yeah, ahead. So the thank you so much, Mark, for all of the information. Now, They're if you family. want to get more information about this, you want to contact, uh, go to Canine Corral, or actually go to their website, caninecorral.com, and they can give you all the tips you need to be prepared. And when we come back, we're going to get tips from Dr. Jenny on how we can sleep well. We'll be right back.